Hey YouTube, I put together a short video on how to compile Nginx on an Ubuntu uh, DigitalOcean droplet from source, um, including how to uh, roll it back if need be. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is update and upgrade any packages um, required and then reboot the machine. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and install all the dependencies, which is the GCC compiler and then the uh, regu regular expression libraries, compression libraries for uh, gzip, and uh, SSL uh, for HTTPS, and also the PHP FPM um, packages. So once you go ahead and uh, update and upgrade, go ahead and reboot and then come on back and then we'll uh, start to uh, build this. Okay, again, I uh, want to point out that we're going to uh, install the compiler, regular expression libraries, Compression Libraries, OpenSSL, PHP, FPM. So the next command we're going to run here uh, is the apt install command. And uh, just go ahead and uh, highlight this. I'm going to copy it out and paste it. And all these commands are going to be in the description. I sped this up so you don't have to sit through this part. Okay, here's, uh, I just like, personally, I like to reboot, make sure everything's clean. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is download the uh, source archives using wget, then unpack them, and change into the directory so we can start the compilation process. Okay, once you change into the directory, what we're going to do is we're going to do a configure. And I'm using, um, I'm changing some of the defaults just because I'm used to them. You do not have to change any of the defaults for this to work. Just make note of where things are. So here you can see that I've uh, put the executable in user bin as opposed to user local bin, which I think is the default. Now, once you run this, any dis, uh, problems, it, it'll, it'll show you, but I know this is going to work fine. So just there, there's where everything is um, in all your path prefixes and modules path. So make a note of that. You can see that the uh, Etsy Nginx config file and where the process ID is located. And you're going to need that for PHP FPM if you decide to implement that. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a make. And once it compiles, after that, we'll do make install. And I'm going to go ahead and speed this up uh, so you don't have to sit through it. It doesn't take that long anyway. Now make install will put all the files where they need to be. All right, the next thing is you're going to install the uh, systemd and init script. So go ahead, uh, use whatever editor you want. I like VI. And uh, that's in lid system D system ngx dot service. So we're going to go ahead and create that file and then copy in the text uh, right here. And again, it'll all be in the uh, description. Go ahead and save that colon wq 
Yeah, it's uh, Vim for right quit. Okay, now let's go ahead and enable the service. And it creates a link, sim link. And let's go ahead and uh, start the service. And then go ahead and let's just verify with a status. And you can see that it's running. And it just shows you that uh, it's running there. That IP address is just a random one they give you when you spin up a, a droplet. Now I'll go ahead and show you the version here, which is Nginx space minus sign V, lowercase v. And the reason I'm going to run the MD5 sum on this is to show you that when we do the upgrade, it'll have a, a different uh, checksum because it's a different version, a different ex uh, different version of the executable. Okay, the next thing is we're going to download and uh, untar and compile the newer version. So jump up one directory and go ahead and download the uh, source code, then untar it and CD into the, uh, the new directory. Okay, so we CD into the new directory 1.16 and run the configure again, just like we did uh, in the initial in the initial one there. Then go ahead. We're going to do a make and then a make install. And again, I'm going to speed this up. Then make install. Verify the new version with Nginx minus sign V. And now we're running at uh, 1.16. We're going to go ahead and do the MD5 sum on uh, the new version. And I'll show you the difference here. And you can see that's the uh, different checksum and uh, newer version. Go ahead and restart Nginx to be running on the new version. Okay, if you have to, for whatever reason, roll it back, all you have to do is CD uh, up one, then back into 1.15 or the earlier version. Run a make install only. You don't have to recompile it, just make install. It'll copy all the correct files out of the 1.15 version. And then once you've done that, you can just verify it with Nginx minus sign V again and just restart Nginx and you're going to be running on the earlier version. And we're running, now we're running on uh, right here after we do a system control restart Nginx, that's going to be running on the earlier version.
All right. Well, thank you for watching. Um, like to hear your comments. Like and subscribe.